It's Satan, Marty. It's Satan. Holy moly, we are live. We is live. And uh, we're talking uh, dirty nuns. <laughs> Who like to use rulers more for than just slapping the hands, if you know what I mean. Howdy, y'all. I'm a nun. <laughs> you got plenty of dirty habits. That's all I'll say. <laughs> Um, oh God, that's too You've bad. been holding that one, haven't you? Oh yeah, big time, big time. <laughs> um, but yeah, tonight we are going to be discussing, we're going to be discussing non-exploitation. What exactly is non-exploitation? Uh, we did not get around to watching it because I'm a lazy fucker, but we're going to speculate what Paul Verhoeven's new movie is about. And just genuinely kind of just shoot the shit about about non-exploitation and the likes i'm gonna drop a link into the chat uh if people want to jump in they can you're welcome but i i would prefer if he kept to the topic at hand because you know well, we we don't want to we don't want to deviate too much but uh, yeah jane for you what is non-exploitation Nunsploitation, it's just much like any other kind of, it's just like Nazi exploitation or black exploitation. It's basically taking a genre and, you know, exploiting the fuck out of it. It's dirt. Although, do you think that this is even more sacrilegious than uh, Nazi exploitation? Do you think that this one's even, because I mean, to some people, their faith is so important to them. Do you think that this may be crossing a line even more than Nazis? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't, the flip side, flip side is nuns have done some horrendous shit. Yeah. So I, I think they're fair, uh, fair safe. Uh, GK's easy horror fan says she loves your nun outfit. Oh, thank you. I appreciate. It was a quick and dirty one. I, I need to get a proper. I need to get a proper nun's outfit. But this for quick and dirty, it's not too bad. Thank you. <laughs> I, I. Well, you're certainly dirty in a good way. Um, but do you <laughs> think there's Green, I'm kind... shocked. There's a nun. Ex there's a nun present. If you're a fucking real nun, I'm fucking Saint Francis of Assisi. <laughs> okay, let's let let's be honest here. Let's put our chips in the table. Jen, do you, there, do you think there's two types of nun exploitation? One is the whole kind of erotic convent kind of. Uh, uh, kind of movies, pornos, and pornos. Then, there's a whole thing in pornos. No, and I'm not being funny when I say this, there's a whole genre in pornos that are so. See, someone has got to find nuns and priests sexy because that is a genre that has stayed like pretty much since the porno began. There's always been the subsection of, of nuns and priests fucking in different ways. And you've got your lesbian nuns, you've got your you know, priests and nuns doing it, you got all kinds of stuff, and there's even books and stuff. So, there's there is def and I don't mean to interrupt you, but there is a, there is a correlation to kind of like, and I guess the forbidden, right? It's forbidden. It's dirty. It's kind of, you know, crossing a line. And if you're like raised Catholic, that could add even a whole other spice to it. You know? Yeah. The, the whole, the whole forbidden fruits thing says echo Kira says only nuns movies I've seen are XX rated ones. Well, like <laughs> the thing is, I think there's two different types. There one, there's the classic erotic, kind of convent kind of sexual sleazy one mm -hmm. and then there's one which has a nun go kind of renegade and do something very unknown like like secret revenge um hell you don't even have to be a nun to end up in non exploitation for i think the biggest example the most popular non exploitation movies isn't even about a nun miss 45. Uh, do you want to Give us the rundown about Miss 45, Jen. Miss 45 is is a revenge flick. It's a rape revenge flick. Um, it's underrated. Like people talk about um um I spit on your grave all the time. Uh Miss 45 isn't talked about as much. It's from the 80s, correct? It was from the 80s. And it's yeah. your seven. No, it was from the 80s. And it's a really great movie. And it's just a vigilante. She goes off and she and she kills people that deserve it. And you can and there's a whole debate about whether that's right or wrong because forgiveness and all of that. I personally 
personally like these kind of movies. I feel very, as someone who something like that's happened to, I feel very cathartic when I see that. Some people don't. I find it very cathartic, and it's and there's a whole there's a whole dialogue to talk about just with is it right or wrong to seek revenge? Isn't it better to like forgive for yourself, not for the other person, but for yourself? But I yeah. I think, yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, no, after you, after you, Ancestor. I, 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 these movies, I think, but I think Miss 45, I think one of the reasons why people, do you think it's even more shocking than I Spit on Your Grave? Um, it's pretty shitty what happens or like, she is a victim of sexual assault and then she comes back to her home and then is uh, again a victim of sexual assault mm -hmm. and it's pretty shocking, like in that regard, but... See, the thing is, again, in I Spit in Your Grave, the revenge is very cathartic, but it isn't, it, 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 in Miss 45, the revenge isn't as shocking. Like, she, I don't think she castrates anyone in that movie, in the bathtub or something like that. I think Miss 45 is a more grounded, like, like it's a more real, like if someone was actually going to go out, sure, we could castrate them, but you got to have time and you got to kind of prepare yourself. Whereas in Miss 45, I think if someone was actually going to go out for revenge, unless they were someone who was a big, you know, a very plenary kind of person and who would take their time and think through every possible scenario to make sure that they had time to do that. This is a more realistic, in a way, I think Miss 45, maybe that's why people are a little bit more uncomfortable with Miss 45, because it's a little bit more realistic, because like you said, the revenge isn't quite as shocking as some of the things we do in I Spit on Your Grave. No, no, it, it, it isn't. Um, like the character, the character kind of goes going crazy in the end as well. She ends up shooting people that aren't necessarily uh, that aren't necessarily deserve it. I think she kind of kills a bunch of people at a party in the end. Or are they more snobbery pieces of shit? Or I think by that time she's just like fuck. I mean, these aren't exactly good people. I don't think as the audience we go, oh god, these. You know, she kind of went too far. It's kind of again. I kind of liken it. It's a different scenario, but I kind of liken it to Matthew and I spit on your grave because he was intellectually a little slower. And there is a debate like she shouldn't have killed that because. But I still say because he still knew enough right from wrong, he should have got his ends. It's kind of the same deal. I think people have to put this in moral questions for. I think they mostly are throwing this in for moral questions for the audience i really do like yeah. okay you know it's okay if they're a if they're a rapist it's okay to kill them but is it okay to kill them if there's a little bit more gray you know what i mean that's just my own yeah. opinion but okay it's sure being an arsehole but there's lots of people that are arseholes they don't have to necessarily you know uh, uh uh fucking have to shoot them we have we have our altar boy coming into the uh stream now hey trenchy hi trenchy oh He's I'm probably like, like what the fuck? Is... <laughs> and I'm a priest. Well, what is going on? And you're a love child. No, we're discussing nun exploitation. <laughs> movies about nuns. Horror movies and revenge movies about nuns. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, well, Go on, go on, go on, Jen, sorry. I was just gonna say that's awesome that we have Trenchy. Trenchy, have you seen any movies or that you like that deal with a uh, nun exploitation? Be they porno or be they more revenge type? Um, I'm not sure. I've I've seen Night of the Demons too that had a ninja nun in it, but that's about it. That's a good one, and, and I yeah. didn't even think of that one. That's a really good example. Okay, tell us about this ninja nun. Actually, before you continue, Trench, I uh, just want to say, talk in the comments. Uh, Eric says, I enter a chat, Jane's dressed as a nun, and I hear her say something about castration. Typical Saturday night on this channel. Uh, Scott Stevens says, oh, we have the Amish and the nun. Sounds like a porno that Tracy... I'm not fucking Amish, dude. I'm fucking... Jesus um, Trench, tell us, about this, tell us about this ninja nun from... Uh, uh, Nice of the demons. Uh, well, it's a it's a sequel, and uh, she runs the school. But when the demons come, she she gets like uh, she starts fighting the demons with like this. I think a ruler. I forget exactly what she uses, but I believe it is a ruler. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we do have a minister in the chat, Marty. Uh, Scott is a gay minister. He's ordained. Nice. 
Ah, uh, fucking Gui. Hello, child. <laughs> Eric says I'm I'm Reverend Kane from. What what's that weird fucking hymn he sings? God is in the fire. I don't remember. It used to even me. It creeped me out a bit. Yeah, but uh, no. Um, well, we're just talking about different, different, different kind of uh, non exploitation kind of movies, trench. Uh, but oh. well, it, that's just a springboard. You don't have to to be uh, 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 don't have to be clued in. Don't worry about it, dude. We have oh, two. my bad. I just saw the link and I clicked. I didn't know if no, I... No, no, no. I sent you the link for a reason. Yeah, you always bring in good stuff, Trench. You are our love child. That's a narrative. You are our love child tonight. Whoa, what? This is our offer boy love child. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> we love you. We do. We love you with God's love, Trench. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I was not prepared for this. Um, You're okay. I don't think I don't think anyone's ever prepared for our streams. Don't worry about it. Um, Marty, I actually have a question for you because you were brought up Catholic. Um, do you uh, how do you feel about like the nun exploitation? Like, does it offend you, or do you because you were raised no, in it? No, no, for the simple reason. <laughs> for the simple reason. The majority of nuns who I have encountered, now there are some lovely ones, there are some absolutely lovely ones. Um, I have I have a story as well uh, about an ex. Uh, oh. You know about this. <laughs> I do. Um, uh, but I, I digress. Um, uh, by and large, fucking considering... Considering some of the shit the nuns did, if you've seen, if you've seen uh, the Magdalene Sisters, it's a horrible, horrible true life movie about the Magdalene laundries. Welcome, welcome. They're fair game. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a prick, but because there are probably lovely nuns out there. I know, I know one because I, I, I had an ex who decided to take up the vocation of being a nun. Lovely girl. Fantastic girl. Um, just, just I, I, I have no, I have no love for organized religion, especially Catholic organized religion. There's a, um, there's a place in Galway called Tume. It was a mother and baby home, and they dug up three hundred corpses of uh, babies. Um, yeah, I remember hearing about that. So, yeah, yeah fuck them. <laughs> Okay, I just want, I didn't mean to put you on the hot seat, but you you no, were you did, you did not you did not you did not. Um, I just wondered because you were raised in it, and when you're raised, do you do you think you have any Catholic guilt? Because they say if you're raised with it, you always have a little Catholic guilt. I don't think so. Well, God, you're dating me, so that probably answers the question right there. I don't think so. Like, I I fucking. I feel guilty about that, but that's just more fucking due to anxiety. Mm -hmm. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, fuck. <laughs> but uh, like, oh, like I'm feeling guilty now. I'm like, poor fucking Trenchy. He's like, what? Where am I? What did I do? What? Oh. What have you done, Martin? You've ambushed me. No, um, no, fuck that. Fuck that. Um, but yeah, I just wondered. I wondered because I I wondered if you because you were raised in it. I kind of was raised a little bit, but I wasn't as raised as much with it as you were. <laughs> they kicked me out. They're like, no. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm shocked. I think everyone is. <laughs> oh, Frenchie, are you shocked that she was kicked out uh, of the Catholic school? Uh. I mean that sucks, but it's probably a good thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't exactly fit in. <laughs> Marty, can I reenact the scene in The Exorcist with the cross? Oh no! <laughs> I didn't trenchy uh, uh, put forward my uh, thoughts properly <laughs> with that 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 sentiment. Um. <laughs> anyway. And anyway, uh, but yeah, Miss Forty. Tracy, have you seen Miss Forty Five? Oh, 
Yeah, wait. Uh, oh, she dresses up as a nun at the end of the movie, right? Yeah, it yeah, it kind of, it kind of sly. It's kind of like Indiana Jones sliding under the door, grabbing the hat. That it's non exploitation. But what, what do you think of that movie? What's your thoughts on that movie? Oh, I like it a lot. It's it's really interesting, and I like how you can kind of take it in two different directions that she's either kind of turned into a vigilante or a serial killer. It depends on the way you view it, because she kind yeah. of goes yeah. both ways. Mm -hmm. do, do you feel sympathetic towards the character, even toward, even after the ending, even after the finale? At the past? I, I feel bad, but I do think she went too far with some things. I do believe some of her victims she didn't have to kill. Because most of them, yeah, they deserve it, but some of them, I don't think so. And the, she didn't have to kill the dog or the yeah. people. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of bad things she did, but you can kind of see why, because she did go through, like, two really traumatic experiences in the same day for no reason. Yeah. But, um, That's a oh, horror yeah. person's lookout. It's not the dog! <laughs> um... Trench, considering considering uh, the character and her circumstances, do you consider it non exploitation, or do you think it's just it's just mere circumstantial, and therefore isn't and it doesn't fall into the criteria of non exploitation? Oh, I I don't know. I don't think it. There's nothing really religious about the movie. I guess there's probably you could probably get some deeper meaning out of it. But I never, I'm, I didn't, I'm not smart enough to figure that out. But I guess there might be some deeper meaning why she wears the nun costume at the end. Yeah. Well, actually, Tracy brings up a good point, Jen. Do you think there is a deeper meaning to her taking on the the, 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 the guise of a nun? Yes, because in a way she's, per the way I looked at it, and this is just totally me, I kind of look at it like she's purging her soul. You know, she's kind of cleansing her soul. And what do you, th you know, I mean, what is more of a holy vessel than a nun? You know, not the kind of nuns I watch or not me, but, you know, the real kind. You know, I kind of took it. As, yeah, you can take it. Chris, uh, Trenchy's right. It's a very good metaphor for, you know, cleansing, like, you know, the soul. And you could look at it in a deeper meaning, you know. Mix the prof mix, mix, mix the you know the putrid with the holy, yin and yang, baby, yin and yang. Um, but yeah, I I I I think it's a good movie. It's a good revenge movie. I love my revenge movies. I do too. Um, is it non exploitation? It's debatable. Uh, I think it is. I think as I said before, I think it's Indiana Jones sliding under the closing door and grabbing his hat. I think it gets in there. Like yeah, one film I think is undeniably non exploitation, but high art non exploitation is Ken Russell's The Devils. If you have not seen this movie, you need to check it out. Jen, did you? Am I annoying you getting you to do all the synopsis? I, let, let me let you do this one because Christian says I never talk about it right. So I'll let you handle this one because I wish Sparky was here because this is his movie. He loves Ken Russell and this is his movie. But I'll let you deal with this one because I never do. I don't do it justice. And it is a bit complicated. <laughs> a little okay. bit. So um, I'll, I'll try. You might have to help me out here because it's been a while since I've used. Oliver Reed plays a cardinal mm -hmm. who is kind of who is in a relationship with a woman i don't think it's vanessa redgrave that plays his mistress is it vanessa um, redgrave plays the the the, the, the nun one. that's in love the, there's another nun that is in love with him but he doesn't know it or in lust yeah. i don't know if it is it lust or is it love marty or is there a difference it's a bit of bull i think it's fucking psychosis <laughs> um so i feel one, that way about you darling as <laughs> Vanessa Redgrave plays a kind of hunchback, uh, deformed, kind of fucked in the head nun mm -hmm. who is madly in love and obsessed with Oliver Reed's cardinal. Mm -hmm. And the old adage, well, if I can't have him, nobody, nobody can. can. So mm -hmm. she kind of causes mass hysteria 
saying that her and the entire convent have been possessed as a result of the cardinal's kind of misdeeds and things just fucking <laughs> to quote Ron Burgundy, well that escalated quickly. <laughs> um there's like massive kind of crazy orgies, like one fucking nun gets herself off with a candle. Yes. Uh, they, they, and they, it's they, really good. Like it was X-rated. It was. It, I don't mean to interrupt you, but it was X-rated for with the United States and the UK. I believe it was. It was oh really, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I I think it only got an. Un oh, sorry, Jane. One. I was just going to ask. Do you think this is pornographic, or do you think this is more on the you know a little highbrow? Like because when you say pornographic, it, it, it's a bit more highbrow. It's certainly. It's certainly not. As sleazy as say Caligula, <laughs> but it ain't far off either. <laughs> like you know, um, yeah, I would. I would actually say this is, but in a good way. Like when I say sleazy, it's usually a compliment. I love, yeah, and I love that scene where she's, you know, get because of course I would. I'm like, wow, that's pretty fucking awesome. Well, okay, it's understandable as well. You know, she's a, <laughs> she's a nun and she needs to get her goodies fucking uh, garroted, but um. <laughs> Like the, the thing is, it's not Tinto brass levels, not Tinto brass Caligula levels of sleaze. <laughs> and there is some very kind of, there's some gorgeous iconography mm -hmm. in, in this movie. Like, you know, I would agree uh, with you. Beautifully shot. Like the, the scenes with uh, him, like the, 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 what's the name of, there's a famous kind of sculpture of, of Jesus. Kind of being cradled in the arms of the Virgin Mary, and I know what uh, you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's kind of depicted, and the whole crucifixion is depicted, and the scene with the wall being uh, destroyed. Go on, what do you want to say? No, 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 no. I'm, just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I just love it. I love. I, I'm just. You're making me think of the movie, and I just love those scenes, and I love how we just, you know, I imagine. I don't know, but because I've never talked to Christian about this, but I would imagine like religious people really hate this movie because I mean, is it going too far? I mean, you're taking some imagery and you are just polluting it. I mean, I don't think you are. I mean, I love the symbolism, but you look at that symbolism and Jesus Christ. Now, pardon the pun, but. Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, it's it, it, it's it's like. But keep in mind, the guys. I I'm maybe I'm fucking taking a massive leap here, but when you look back at the classical artists like Caravaggio mm -hmm. and Leonardo da Vinci and and uh, Michelangelo and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> um, no, I I digress. No, seriously, you look at the classical artists. Um, they did, those guys did push the line at the time of the Renaissance with uh, the David, the nude of the David. Yeah. Um, there's the classic kind of tapestry on the roof of the Sixteen Chapel. Yeah. Where you have nude figures. And they were later gone back. I think I think it was like, was it Pope Benedict the Second or something? Went back and had fucking artists cover up, cover it up yeah. the nude parts and stuff like that. But <laughs> at the time, like, if, if you turn around and say, oh, this is just sexual exploitation, well, can you say that about early kind of classical artists as well? Now, maybe I'm touching the straws, but like... No, like you bring up a really good point because, like, I think it's just... May, I, I don't know in your country, I'm not going to say, but like I know for America, I think we are very hung up with the body and sex and stuff. And back then, I don't think we were. And it's supposed to be, correct me if I'm wrong, because God knows I'm not a religious scholar at all. But I mean, isn't the body like it's a work of God? He made us supposedly, yeah. right? That's what they say. He made us. So like, why should we be ashamed? And I know the Adam and Eve story and all that. But I mean, we shouldn't be. I mean, if it's, it's, it's a work of art and it's not always sexual. And like you're celebrating it, and you're you know like when you're naked, you're kind of celebrating his glory. That might be profet, you know, that might be all blasphemous for some people, but you are. And I think we just kind of got our heads twisted in that. But I see your point. Like you, if you if it was okay back then, why is it not okay now? Yeah. I think it's just a mindset. I really do. And religion can like I'm not taking a piss out of religion. I think it can save some people and give some people a 
friends comfort and whatever you can get to get through this world i say amen to but on the other hand i also think religion can really fuck you up can oh really yes yeah it it's it's not fucking it's it's not good in the way that it it for the most part, I think organized religion. And then there's a big difference between religion and faith. That's true. I right. think faith is about something that you believe in and gives you comfort, and religion is about control. Mm-hmm. Like and basically, I don't a big need... fucking finger saying, "If you do this, I'm going to spank you," and not the way you yeah. like, Jen. The other kind of way. <laughs> it's like I don't need a big fucking book that was written thousands of years ago to tell me not to be an arsehole. I'm 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 well I'm well able to kind of do that myself, like you know. I but the, the 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 thing is, uh, just to adjust this. Ah, the thing is, um, Mr. Green. Um, the, the the thing is, I think, I think it it's way of control. It's like it any is. kind of organization. It is. And and if you have dickheads in power, they're going to exploit that. Yeah. And it was definitely exploited. Uh, a long time in Ireland. For example, my dad, my dad quoted something. It's very famous quote. He always loves quoting. No priest in Ireland ever starved during famine. Thousands of people, thousands of people died from hunger and consumption and tuberculosis. Not one priest. So, you know, that so. kind of says it all right there. With religion and faith, I'm like, I'm like, it's fine to have. Be- I, it's like a penis, Marty. It's like, it's fine to be proud of it, and if it gives you comfort. But it, when you're shoving it down my throat, I don't want any penis but yours down my throat, and that's where we have a problem. If it's not Marty's penis, then get it out. I don't want it. That's where I have a problem with religion. If you put a penis anywhere near Jen's throat, I would cut it off and stick it down your throat. Yay. That's what I said. Trenches just <laughs> it's so bad. Trenches just went oh, oh. silent. Trench, what's your view on religion? Uh um any religion or like the the Christian religion in general. Or do you do you think there's a difference between faith and religion? Well, uh, yeah, I think there is because I I respect personal belief. And stuff, I respect anybody's belief in anything, even if I can't understand it. But um, organized religion, I'm very critical of. I know it does good things, but there's also a lot of corruption and a lot of... Um, they're, they're very hypocritical, and they, they like to use... Uh, they like to twist the words of their their teachings to get a uh, personal gain, especially yeah, the higher ups, because a lot of it doesn't make sense. Like the Pope doesn't make sense to me because they say don't worship a false, false God, but what is the Pope? He's, 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 you're, you're, no, you're dead right. You're dead right. Would you, it's would you worship. agree with me? It's about control. It's about kind of control. Yeah, because... I do think it is a lot of control, and I respect if you believe in a God. I believe in in some sort of God. I don't know if he's a he's an actual being or an energy or an alien, but um, I just I just don't like it when people use it to uh, for their own personal gain. Instead of just for personal comfort and belief yeah. and yeah. to help people. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 a thing. Hello, no nom. No nom. Nom nom, I think. I can't nom nom. Okay. Hello, how are you doing? Um Why do I can't we have sex? How come we can't have sex? Other religious things have sex. How come we can't have sex? Because your body's a temple and I don't want to knock anything over. <laughs> You gotta give me points for that answer. <laughs> Anywho, going back to Ken Russell's The Devils. Oh, fantastic fucking movie. Insane uh visionary. Uh you have you have one of the members of the Inquisition, if I'm not mistaken, is one of the mem- band members from The Who, which I actually love. <laughs> yeah, and you're right, he is. 
<laughs> Interesting casting choices. It really is. I think I love it when uh, when less than godly people play religious people. I w uh, George Carlin. Uh, Kevin Smith did that with George Carlin in Dogma. So you know. Yeah. And he's a non-believer. I love it. There's something to be said when it's it's different types of people than you expect. <laughs> well, yeah, no, it's it it it's pretty cool. The fucking ending is insane. Like, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give away the ending, but you're like, ah, ah. Well, it's it's an awesome movie. I encourage people to check it out if you haven't seen it. If you haven't seen it, please give it, give it, give it a, give it a look. Give it a, give it a look. Give it a Yay. fucking sneaky peek. Uh, watch it next Easter, lads. Watch it. Great <laughs> Easter fucking movie. Um, that and Sound of Music. Sound of Music. I see on Easter. I, know, my, I like Pet Cemetery because the resurrection. <laughs> my my friend has a brilliant way to pitch Sound of Music. Hey, buddy, buddy. You want to watch a movie about Nazis, nuns, <laughs> and goats? Yeah, sure. Let's watch Sound of Music. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Um. But any any other non exploitation movies you know of, Jen? Oh yeah, I've been itching to talk about it. In fact, it came out of my birth year. And do you want to hear a quote? I believe the um the mother superior says this in the movie, and maybe someone will know what this is because I fucking love this quote. The genitals are a door to evil. The vagina and the uterus, the womb, the labyrinth that leads to hell. The devil's tools. The devil's tools. Anyone want to take a guess? It's from the um, other hell. It's from the other hell. And basically shenanigans. And it's it's a literally, you cannot see much. It's it's gorgeously shot, but it's also kind of hard to see because you know, low production values and basically supernatural. Is that the one? Is that the one with the nun who has the black veil over her face because she's scared and she's murdering people? Yeah, yeah, you don't know. Well, you don't know if she's murdering people. So they have to go in. And is it supernatural or is it or is it just a nun using it as an excuse to fuckery? And it's really good. Like the imagery. I saw this movie when I got older. It came out on my birth year. And I saw this movie when I got older. And I'm like, this is what got me into nun. And it's it's not porno exactly, but it definitely, you know, kind of has that thing of sexual repression. And, you know, naughty bits are bad. You can't touch them. You can't on them you can't caress them bad 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 and like you know you know like if you were to slap me on my ass i'd be like yay but that's bad too gonna burn it hell we and it kind of got me down <laughs> it kind of got me down the path of oh i wonder if there's porn like this and yes there was porn like this but this this is kind of your gateway it's not porn exactly but it has a lot of themes it's like Ooh, penis, ooh, clitoris, ooh, no licky, licky, touchy, touchy, bangy, bangy. <laughs> God damn. Uh, you know when you picked this subject, we were gonna go here, darling. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I've got a fucking, I've got a romper for you as well, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna be shocked. Um, uh, is it, is it like you've never seen it? it huh? I I seen I seen a review for it, and someone told me it, the idea was good if they could make out what the fuck was going on in the movie half the time. Yeah, it's a it's a very like I thought because I found it on VHS and I thought okay I'll find and when I got older I thought I'll find a cleaner copy and I found it I think on DVD I found it somewhere and it wasn't any better than my old VHS. It's very hard to make out, but in a way that's good because it gives you it kind of sets your own imagination. This is a movie that has always stuck with me. Like little Jen saw this and I was very titillated and like the the nun thing. Now you guys are gonna laugh. You guys are really gonna laugh. But you know a movie I actually really like is a nun story. I really like it. Audrey Hepburn plays a nun. And and for, I know it's weird. Me of all people like that. But I honestly do. So I kind of have a fascination with nuns. Because, like, to me, you have to give up so much, a.k.a. penises. And, like, but, they, but you know, it, it is an interesting life. And particularly, they've changed stuff a lot. But I'm actually way more interested on how the old school nuns did it and all of that. And 
and I've read books on lesbian, why we think so much of lesbian nuns. It's not just a hot idea. I mean, it can be a really hot idea for a Fordo, but it actually kind of did go on back in the olden days. And it's very fascinating. And they were basically good people. They just like to eat carpet and they had like, you know, crisis of consciousness because they thought they were going to go to hell. It was very interesting. So there's like a correlation between the two. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the thing is, there is very few kind of non, non-exploitation stories that are like kind of non-sexual. Uh, like that Audrey Hepburn one. <laughs> I, I don't think I don't think he got to see fucking. And, I don't. I don't think any women had breakfast at Tiffany's. Let's just but, say. But life. even that movie, Marty. Even that movie, she kind of falls in love. Like at least this is my own interpretation. I could be wrong. She kind of falls in love with the doctor in the jungle, and she does give up her. You know, she does give up her nunness. And uh, you know, I always like to think she went back to him because you could kind of feel. So even in a clean, pure, good movie like that, there is a thing of sexuality. I. Why do you think that is? Why do you think the clergy and sexuality? are so interwoven are we just so fascinated because they can't bang or is there a little bit more to it i, I think there is the whole forbidden fruit in it's like you know fucking <laughs> i hey. like they got a bite yeah no it's 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 just it's it's <laughs> it's like you know fuck it we can't you know you, you can't see these i'd love to see fucking you know it's, it's like the whole thing of like oh i'd love to fucking see a, a, a whale walking down the road. It's an impossibility we'd never see, but for some part of our brain, I'd like to see that happen. Well, look at the Thornbirds. It was it was made into a movie, but it was a book first. Look at the Thornbirds. That also deals with, it's about a priest, but, you know, same thing. Like, there's some sort of fascination between the two, you know? There is something really, really kind of kinky. That, 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 there's some great porn that's also, there's some great lesbian porn that I can recommend. I, but they never put the names. When, you ever notice when you're looking at porn online, they never actually put the proper name of the movie. You have to dig. That's one of my complaints. You, no, it, 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 Jesus, it is kind of hard. For, um, <laughs> God damn it. Trench, Trench, can you, can, if you think I'm about to say something that's going to fall into a trap of Jen taking the piss out of us, will you let me know, please? Um, I would, but I don't know what words those are. <laughs> As you said, I think on one of our previous streams, all the words. <laughs> That could be anything. <laughs> That's a good point. No, oh, darling, there's like, but I, I get what you mean, and I'm trying to keep this serious, but like there is there is a big runoff between sexuality and the clergy, and I find it very interesting. Um, you know, there's something there, there's something kind of fascinating about it, and I think it's titillating to a lot of people, whether people are as open about it as, as admitting to it as other people, but I think everyone kind of wonders. Yeah, it's 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 like hey, these these are people these are, are holy literally holier than thou people and just like you know, hey I wanna see this fucking do bang. Um one film I think you need to check out is called it's a Japanese movie and it's called School of the Holy Beast. Ooh and yes holy Did we do it for Christ Fire? We can, but Jesus Christ, uh I, I think you might have trouble watching it. Really? Yeah. Um, I don't think so. No, that's a challenge right there. That's a challenge. Oh, boy. It's, I love oh, that. No. It's, it's a Japanese convent, and a new girl comes, and she's rebellious. And I think it's the same actress who played, uh, oh, Christ, Lady Snowblood. She's kind of a big, oh, fuck it, I'll just check it out. She's kind of a big exploitation actress in uh, Yumi Ta, oh, Yumi Ta Lagag, oh, Kaga. I'm fucking desperate with names. Um, she, she basically um, she she finds out the mother superior is it's it's a it's a prison ward it's a prison ward movie but replaces the prison with a, a a convent and your one picks out her favorite nuns and she finds out that she has some dealings with the archbishop and is going to report her to the authorities because she's a good virtuous nun but oh. Your one, the mother superior, decides to torture in humiliating and sexual ways. So yeah. Ooh, you sold me, darling. Yeah. Um. 
I'm, I'm trying to think what other movies she was Why in. do you think it would be a hard one for me to watch? Um, there is, now, I don't know if you can get it on cut, but there is some, uh, there is a wee bit of mutilation of the, uh, the... Clitoris? Mm-hmm. Ah, yay! Woohoo! We can watch a Clitoris mutilation! Oh, boy, it's not even my birthday! Yeehaw! Thank um, you, but, but, yeah, no, 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 uh, definitely, definitely a movie to check out. Um, I w we will, we will, we'll do it for Transfire. Oh, boy, clit mutilation. I haven't seen a good clit mutilation since Antichrist. Uh, chaos reigns. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, I, like uh, I know this is kind of, it's it's still in. It would, Antichrist, I mean, it, 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 they, people have so many ideas about what that movie is about. <laughs> I think it's about a couple who really don't like each other. <laughs> it is the ultimate toxic relationship movie. <laughs> I get that. Tranchi, have you seen Antichrist? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it if you have. No. Okay. no. I'd love to hear I'm... it. You've got to watch it one day. <laughs> is that what they... I've heard things about William the Post, Crotch, and a woman's <laughs> vagina. And yes! Yes! And a talking fox that says chaos reigns. And we start with a black and white shot of a baby falling beautifully down, um, down a, off a building, off a high building set to opera, which Sparky says is the most pretentious bullshit he's ever seen. But it looks real pretty! It looks real pretty! And then, and then his wife, I can't remember the actress, she's pretty good herself. She, she mutilates her own clit, Trent. She, she mutilates her own clit. And William Defoe gets his wang all fucked up. It's pretty cool. <laughs> the the baby part sounds kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as a parent that was kind of hard for to watch, but Christian said it was a little bit over pretentious and done and it's done in black and white and Trent, Trent, she, no one throws rocks at the baby. That's all I'll say. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. Aww. laughs> Trenchy, will you tell any kids that are watching that we'll throw rocks at him tonight? <laughs> Sure. Okay. I knew that's why we, we, we brought you. This is not this is an R rated stream. Oh. We don't want young children here. Yeah. Here, it, we we should we should threaten our parents too. Maybe yeah. they'll listen. Yeah, we should. <laughs> But yeah, uh, 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 School of the Holy Beast, you have to check it out. We uh, will. I think it's I think it's seventy one, is it? I've never um, heard of it. I'm ashamed to say I've never heard of it. Um, I'll check for you. I'm I'm just but I, I remember watching it. It was one of these movies that showed up on Bravo at mm -hmm. like half eleven at night as a teenage boy. And I used to house it for my aunt. And they had the channels. They were one, one of my first relatives that had channels. And I'd always go over there Saturday night. And like I'd be like, whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> uh, I'd be delighted. And then I sussed out that if I brought over an empty cassette tape, I could record the movies. And I like, Adam, he's like, you, know, you don't want to jerk off in your fucking aunt's house. Like, <laughs> what if you, what if you oh, no. fall asleep? <laughs> what if you fall asleep with your dick in your hand and they just come home and they're like, no, we're not letting you house sit anymore. What no the channels? <laughs> so, yeah, that's why you recorded. 1974, Jen. 1974. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and all you kids out there, that's a great... Well, I guess you guys don't do videotapes anymore. We come from a different time. <laughs> it also went under the... Uh, it was School of the Holy Beast, a.k.a. Convent of the Sacred Beast, a.k.a. Saju Guhan. Very cool. Uh, the, the film is a non-exploitation subgear of pinky violence made by the Toei Company. I thought I was going to say Toho. Like, fucking <laughs> Godzilla comes in here and he's like, bitches! I'd love to see Godzilla's <laughs> wang. Oh, no. Godzilla. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, save us from tentacle monster. Oh. <laughs> 
That's not a very becoming thing to say of a priest, Marty. <laughs> oh, oh, come in aside. It's, uh, oh, um, oh, anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, well, I'm trying to think of any other any other exploitations, Jane, that you think people should check out. Um, not right off the top of my head. My big my big load was definitely the other hell. Like it, it is your friend, whoever told you that is right. You can't see much of it, but when you can, it is gorgeous and and it's very grimy and very dark and it just has a lot of themes and it's like makes you kind of you know uncomfortable, but in a fun way. It's like ooh, do I want to go down this road? Yes, I do. Let's go down, we kind of thing. It's it's really good. Um, I Ken Russell's the Devils is another one I would and miss. All of the movies you've suggested tonight have been really good. Like there's some really good ones, and you don't hear that many people talking about de the Devils. Like you know, especially guys. You have a fucking like yeah, sure. The Exorcist, that scene with her with the cross, that's pretty cool and stuff. But candles are cool too. Candles are cool too. In fact, it's and it's more really think about it, guys, because it's more here. Wait a second. I'll get. I'll. I'll, I'll like. Say like. Wait, what? One. Oh no. So see, there's a candle. Wait, right? Why do you have a candle? <laughs> for aesthetics, Trenchy, for aesthetics. So, like, but, like, does why, it... Why, why you flip it over? My name is literally stenciled on the side. It's like, what? <laughs> no, what? but, I mean, no, guys, like, what does this guy's look like to you guys? I mean, it, it makes more sense in a crucifix. And, like, you don't get splinters. Wax doesn't leave splinters in your vag. <laughs> You're right. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's a candle. Just remember, kids, never light the candle, though, when... Uh... Oh, no, Marty, you're wrong about that. Like, 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 blow it out before you use it. But, like, what? here's a fun tip for you guys. So, like, it, it, it gets a good sensation. If you're a little kinky and like a little pain, light the candle. And, like, when the wax is still kind of hot, then use the candle. Pro tip for you guys. For the love of Jesus. <laughs> Children, leave, or we will throw rocks at you for your own good. You can't be listening to this. This is bad. <laughs> I'm a nun, Trenchy. It's fine. You need to get sexual advice from a nun. Sex, fun sex with nun, with nun Jan. <laughs> Dear Jesus, please give me the strength. Maybe I'm your superior. like test in life, Marty. Have you ever thought of this? Maybe I'm like your test in life. You're my crucible. You're my <laughs> crucible. And if you can survive Jen Mitchell, you become a saint. Yay! <laughs> Is it worth it though? Is it worth it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Trenchy, do you have any movies that, uh, that 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 deal with any any sort of religious subject? It doesn't necessarily. We don't have to box our <laughs> box box <laughs> candles in boxes. Um, we don't have to oh, box. No. We don't have to box ourselves in. Um, you know, th th there's been a few movies mm. that have uh, that that have had the religious theme that has caused quite a bit of controversy. Uh, any that have to be exploitative. No, not necessarily. Just any movie that you think that has kind of a religious theme, um, undertone that um, might have caused some co controversy. Well, I don't know if it caused controversy, but there was a recent one. I watched it again. I watched it a few times. I really like it. Called "We Summon the Darkness," which is really good, and I think what makes good points. Uh, it's hard to explain without spoiling the twist. Hey, Kara. Hey. Hey, well, I'm a nun. Oh, the church. That's a good one. That's the church. It's it's kind of the, the alternate title is Demon's Tree, I think, as well. Mm -hmm. I think it movie. is. It is. That is a good one. That is a good one. The, 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 that's always interesting when people use religion, but religion is universal. And there's so many different ways to prove your faith and so many ways to do it. Um, I don't know if anybody's gotten it right, or maybe it doesn't matter what you get right. It's just that you believe. Who knows? Yeah. That's scary from someone who was just telling you how to, how to use a candle for sexual purposes. <laughs> 
Maybe. Hey, 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 Jen, you're my Mary Magdala, okay? Okay. <laughs> if, if you know anything about the Bible, you know, Jesus. Oh, yeah, she was. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> she, she was she was a prodzy. Jesus' <laughs> close confident was a prodzy. Maybe they had kids. Who knows? But fuck it. Yeah. I'm not going to judge. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, look, 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 look. hey. Can you imagine the real story of Jesus? He was a hipster with no shoes. She was a dirty ass husband in Nazareth. Together, they came together and I don't know. Yeah. Had kids? Yeah. <laughs> made And made people walk on water. <laughs> and, and Tom Hanks had to find out to find about their secret diary. Oh, oh yeah, that movie exists. The Da Vinci Code. Right, the Da Vinci Code. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have anything to say about the Da Vinci Code. Art. Messages through art. Yeah. Hallelujah! Oh. Trench, Trench. Okay, go back. What was the movie you were saying? Summon the Devil? Uh, no, we summon the darkness. Well, give us give us a rundown if you can without spoiling us. Uh, give us a well, rundown. Well, it's about this group of girls. They're going to a, a rock concert in the '80s, and there's like a, it's like satanic uh, panic era. There's like someone going around killing people, and they meet up with these guys, and they go back to their house, and then shit happens. And just. Johnny Knoxville plays a priest I've or, heard of or this. a preacher, but he's really good. I think Christian has oh, talked about Yeah, it's this. really good. And it's uh, Alexandria it, Daddario in this movie. Yeah, she she plays the main girl, and there's also uh, some lady whose last name is Forsyth. She's really good. The whole cast is good. Taylor Swift's brother's in it for some reason as well, but he's good too. Oh. Uh, it, it just without spoiling it, it it has an interesting take on religion and shows the hypocrisy of it sometimes mm -hmm. and it's really fun very cool we'll definitely check it out I think Christian has talked about this I remember now that you say Johnny Knoxville it rang a bell uh -huh. A whole yeah. bell, if you will. <laughs> Johnny Knoxville is actually pretty threatening in it. He does a really good job at not being silly. He's very serious. Okay. I've heard that. Uh, very cool. Very, very cool. Desirous uh, Nuns is a good one if you're if you're looking for porn. And then there there is a oh I forgot, Marty. There's a take on a nun story, but porn. Do you want to give us the rundown of the plot? It's pretty much just nuns fucking like a new nun, a novice, if you will, a novice. See, I I know a little, I know that they're a little bit about that religion. It's like a novice, which means she's not completely a nun yet, but she wants to be a nun, and she goes into the order and like they teach her ways of the nuns that they don't teach in the good book necessarily. And she goes to the Congo, and things are interesting. She has a lot of fun things happen to her in the Congo. Shut up, sex in a gorilla, does she? Bad <laughs> gorilla. Bad nun. Sadly, uh, it doesn't have any bestiality like you would think with a Congo. Kind of a missed opportunity, if you ask me. But kind of, you know, you know, darling. It's it's no strokey man, though. <laughs> which we have to watch at some stage. When are we yeah, going to watch that? We'll, we'll watch it sometime next month early. Get it out of the fucking way. <laughs> Yay! I can't wait. I'm going to get a costume for that one. I'm working on a costume for it as we speak, guys. <laughs> be fun. It'll be fun. We get to watch Pikachu bang things. I think he says, fuck a chew, fuck a chew. Oh, Dickachu. Dickachu, Dickachu. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, I'm very. I'm very excited. It's gonna be a good time. So when I was a callow youth, uh, there was a movie that came out. Wait, what? Well, in 2010, there was a movie that came out. I mean, I wasn't that much of a callow youth, 
Uh, there was a movie that came out called New Nuns with Big Guns. Ooh. It was a Mexican, it was a Mexican action exploitation, non exploitation movie. Uh, it stars, I'll try and pronounce her name, Asun Ortega. She played a new nun in a convent that basically the the the, the mother was the kind of Christ among again. Well, what's the what are they called again? Mother Superior. Reverend Mother. Re Mother Superior. Selling, right. Yeah, Mother right. Superior was selling the nuns into prostitution. Your one dies. Uh, she ODs, talks to Christ, and Christ says, "You got to go back to Earth and kill all these fuck, fucking bastards." So she comes back, and she gets proficient mm -hmm. in use of uh, revolvers. She becomes a quick draw with revolvers and uses a Tommy gun. And she goes back to rescue her girlfriend, who's another nun. Very cool. Very. That sounds like a, a fun time. That sounds a little like, and it was a letdown movie. There was a movie that came out a few years back. I think she was a photographer, and she goes to Mexico and gets kidnapped by the cartel. God, I can't remember the name of it. came out a few years ago. The movie, the, the previews made the movie look a lot better than it actually was. I cannot remember it for the life of me, but it sounds a little like that, but this sounds way better. And the title's a lot funner too. It's 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 a silly movie. It's um there's lots of lesbian scenes. Yay, uh, lesbian scenes. Uh there's now do they linger? Do they linger? Do we get a lot of box eating? Do we get a lot of fingering? Do we get you know the good stuff? We do. We get we get a nun getting off a, a, a female drug lord with a revolver, Ooh, and that sexy. doesn't end well. Um, <laughs> uh, it's 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 a crazy ass movie. She like you know she fucking speaks to God. She takes heroin so she can talk to God. Very cool, very cool. Well, that's another one we should put on the list, darling. Yeah, it's it's a weird one. It's a weird one. I like it. I like I like I like that. I like that. Movies are good. Movies are fun. Yay, movies, yay. Especially if they have lesbians in them. Just add lesbians. Like <laughs> Just add le lesbians. I'm not a lesbian myself, but you know, I'm pro lesbian. Go lesbians. Yay. Hey, I, hey, if you want to throw another lady into the mix, I ain't gonna come. Okay, okay. Fr move it on. Trench. Um <laughs> Uh, Trench. Uh, oh, that's just... what Blair scared you, huh? <laughs> just got to put a habit on. Now I know what scares her. Just got to put on a habit. A bad habit. <laughs> that I can't break. <laughs> Trench, any other scary... They don't have to be non-exploitation, but any scary other religious movies that you might actually... Uh, you, uh -huh. you think people should check out. Well, I'm trying to think of, like, you know, not like the typical, like, The Omen or anything. Love um, those movies, though. The, there, was, uh, there was one with, I don't know, there, I forget the name of the movie, but there's, like, demons attacking the, the church or a demon attacking the church. And there, there's a gypsy woman in it, and then the demon comes out at the end. I forget what it's called. This is the church. N no, it's something. I think it's like the unholy or something like that. Oh yeah, I think I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, there's, there's an awesome monster uh, effect at the end. Okay, I'll check. I'll oh. check it out. I'll check it out. Um, any other? Any other? No exploitations you want to bring up, Jen? I'm trying to think. There's one that uh, Lucky McKee did a while back. It's not exactly a nut exploitation, but it does have to do with religious, and I'm trying to think of the damn name, and I'm liking it. And Christian and I really like it, and it had a lot of religious connotations in it. I'm looking at for it right now, but it's a Lucky McKee film, and it's really good. In fact, it was another one that um, that they did that's kind of an off. It's actually an offshoot of The Woman. If you've ever seen The Woman, it's, it's kind oh, of Oh, yes. It's named after the, the little girl, the daughter that's rescued. 
Yes, Marty. yes. I couldn't remember the name for the life of me, Marty. I'll but check. I'll a check. Really good one. Uh, are you talking? I haven't seen it, but are you talking about Darling or Darlings? Yes. 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 Good mind, French. Thank That's you. I, I haven't seen it, but I've seen the woman and I've heard about the the sequel. Yes, um, I know about this film because one, I'm a big Lucky McKee fan, and two, um, Jack Ketchum. That was one. Of, that was a book of his, and I love Jack Ketchum is one of my favorite authors and stuff. And this is basically a continuation of the woman, which is another one. Even though it doesn't have any sort of religious connotations, you could look at the woman because one thing I love about the woman is it is a story about monsters, but it's not like the monsters you think. The monster that that that's in the movie wears a suit and tie and is completely normal, and you know. Could, could mm -hmm. be looked at if you didn't know him too well. Could look at as a pillar of the community, and then you have a feral woman who's also a cannibal, and yet she's the better person of the two. And I yeah, love the comedy of that. She's the hero. Yeah, she's she hero. is. I mean, he just he does monstrous things. He he's abusing his daughters and everything else. And you have moral questions there because the mother knows what's going on with the daughters, but until the end, she uh, she doesn't do much. And you can under like part part of me feels sorry for the mother, but then another part of me, as a mother, like. I might put up with doing shit to me, but touch one of my kids. Even if you're bigger than me, I'll just wait till you're asleep or drug you. You touch one of my kids, you're fucking dead. I'll think of something, you know? And so I don't have too much, like some people, that, that was a big debate with that movie. Like, do you have sympathy for the mother? Because she knows what's going on for a long time. She finally kind of gets out of her haze and kind of stands up to him, but a little too late for my taste. Yeah, I'm... And the, the, the woman realizes that and just eats her fucking face. Eats her yeah. Eyes. Yeah, but but that's kind of a moral question, like you brought up. Like it, it's kind of like with the with the one people in Miss Forty Five that she kills that maybe didn't deserve it. Some people have said the mother didn't exactly deserve it because she was going to do something. But for me, but it was she stood too late. by. She stood by. She, she yeah. left it too long. Yeah. Like fucking. Oh yeah, but oh, it had to be. Oh, let's feed the fucking poor teacher to our two German shepherds and our. <laughs> Our eye socketless fucking, our blind fucking dog child in the fucking uh, mm. basement. But yeah, no. Um, Chris Cleek, the character of Chris Cleek, is brilliant because you know it's sometimes the monster or the the sicko. It doesn't have to be waving an axe. He could just be mm -hmm. just more the Lord. Mm -hmm. Like you know, it's just. That's, and he's that's more terrifying than some of the ones that wielded axes. I don't mean to interrupt yeah. you, but he is. Yeah, he is. Um. Da Darlin is uh, uh, an interesting movie in that, yeah, the, I, I think the eldest daughter dies in childbirth and the younger one survives and is taken in by uh, the church. Mm -hmm. And she's kind of looked after by uh, a male, a gay male nurse. You might know him. He's like the big hulking guy. In the Walking Dead, Asian hulking guy in the Walking Dead, he was also the the, the dad in the foster dad in Shazam. He's a really good actor. He's 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 probably the only likable character in 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 the movie. And it turns out the priest kind of looks down on him and fucking treats him like shit. Yeah. And there's another nun uh, who's kind of like she kind of comes to her senses near the end and admits that the. Monsignor was abusing her. And it's just, I, I saw it a while back. It's a good movie. It's a hard it, watch, though. It, it is. It's a, but it's it's a really. I think it's a great follow up to the woman, and it asks some hard questions. And again, it's not exactly a nun exploitation, but it does deal with the church and stuff. And I like. I love movies and books that play around with the idea of you know sometimes the uh, the the saints are sinners, and sometimes the sinners can be saints. I mean, it's but there's more. It's black and it's not so black and white duality and shades of gray. And I think that's way more what life's about than sometimes you get total black and white things, but I, more often than not, it's in a gray. I like. I'm not fucking backing up the Catholic Church or anything, or fucking religion itself. But like, if you do look at the Bible, and if you are, uh, hey Brian, hey, if Brian. you are, if you are like a religious person, you can say in in the Bible, like where Jesus is up on the cross and he forgives a thief. He forgives a thief who like. Admits I done wrong and I I, I, I want to be forgiven. That's that's what it should be about. It should be about like forgiving and letting people kind of you know letting people off with their 
their their their misdeeds if they if they if they have if it isn't like fucking monstrous what they have done isn't monstrous and they realize that what they did is wrong i think that 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 should be the focus of religion more about forgiveness than judgment yeah and i think it's been lost along the way and i'm not fucking i'm not given a a a, a kind of fucking a, a free pass to the Catholic Church, because Christ Almighty, they don't deserve it. But there is some good things in the Bible mm-hmm. that 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 I think you can pick up on. But at the same time, a lot of those things are common sense. Don't be an asshole and don't judge people because of their background. Try and try and always like give people the benefit of the doubt. And if they fuck up or if they don't, if they don't try and kind of um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, if they don't try and redeem themselves, then. That's on them. I would agree with all that. What I tell my boys is don't be a dick. Uh, try to put uh, put yourself in other people's shoes because you never know their story. Even dicks sometimes have a story. Sometimes you can go, okay, and sometimes because you have a story, sometimes that doesn't necessarily. It all depends. It's like everything else. But those are the two things I tell my boys. Don't be a dick and don't and don't and don't and try to put yourself in other people's shoes and try to look at it from how they would feel. And don't ever be unkind to people, especially people that, you know, or easy targets. That is like the one thing, like I'm, you know me, Marty, I'm pretty lax. I'm not a super strict parent, but the one thing that both my boys is, I don't let them get away with unkindness. That's something that does not play well in this household. Yeah, you've, two, you've, two, you've two great kids. You've two great kids. <laughs> Yeah, I'm lucky. I'm there, but I want them to be kind human beings. That's like my, you know, I want them to be happy and I, you know, successful and all of that, like any parent does. But I also want them to be kind human beings. That's like a very important thing as a parent to me. So, and I don't think people think about that as much as they should sometimes. So, yeah, that was kind of our PSA. So, no, back to nuns and titty movies. (laughs) Jane, uh, I need up the vagina. (laughs) Actually, more. (laughs) <laughs> non exploitation movies you think people should check out? Uh, let me see. I know there was some more, and I'll probably... I, exploitation, I can't think... Surprisingly, I can't think of anyone. The one I really was... the dark. I'm glad Trenchy remembered the name of it, because I really did want to talk about that one, because I think... Lucky McKee is just a wonderful director in general, I think. But um, there's got to be some other movies. Uh, we could talk about movies that are a little bit more on the nose, like The Conjuring... <laughs> things like that um because there's because horror also you know besides the exploitation and revenge aspect horror uses a lot of religious themes and we've got like the omen and uh the exorcist and the exorcist is an interesting story because uh, so supposedly it was a based on a true story. I've actually read the book and apparently it was true enough for the family because it was, I always loved this little tidbit. It was a Jewish family and they fucking converted because <laughs> they couldn't, they couldn't go anywhere else and they went to the Catholic church and I just love that they converted. <laughs> I, I don't know oh, why I just love that little tidbit. <laughs> <laughs> um, leave, it, leave it to the Catholics. <laughs> And, and I love the Catholic Church even to this day. It's like something that let's not announce this to me. I mean, I think there's still people who totally believe in it, but like their public relations department, let's not mention the exorcism too much, you know. I I guarantee you though, I guarantee you, like the fucking the 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 the, the Vatican has put out that there has been an astronomical in the last twenty to thirty years. There's been an astronomical drop on people who wanted to join the priesthood. So much so that they've, they've allowed people who have been widowed to join the church, or they've allowed people who are like, you know, they're 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 not married, but they're in a relationship to join the church. I guarantee you their sales pitch, like when it gets down to like they're only ten percent recruitment, where Hey, did you see The Exorcist? You want to fight some demons? <laughs> Join the church today. <laughs> just fucking, just like, yeah. Just like, Whoa. Okay. I, I, but, 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 do, do you, okay, that's a good question. I can ask both you and Trenchy, even though I, I don't think, you're not Catholic, are you, Trenchy? No, I guess I would be agnostic, but I don't, I don't know. It's confusing. 
Yeah, well, a- agnostic yeah. is just uh, uh, someone who, who who has faith but doesn't necessarily subscribe to any particular religion. Yeah. We believe in that's, something. That's we just what I am. That's I'm agnostic. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I, but I would like to ask you guys, do you guys believe that we, like, I, I know there's psychosis and actual just people who are not right in the head that totally believe they're possessed. But do you think that actual possession could be a thing? Or do you think it's just uh, the Catholic Church being the Catholic Church? I. Or do you think it's psychosis? I, I think it's psychosis. Um, like, if if you go back to Irish folklore, I think certain things were just kind of done and kind of explained, oh, the fairies did it. Oh, he's, he's, you know, that your baby's been switched for a change. That's why it won't stop screaming. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like when people (laughs) can't understand something, they they go to the the, the older world, they go to the scripture and it's like, you know, I'm I'm not trying to be a dick here. And I, I have, I have said some of the beneficial things of religion, but I think when certain societies who have less education and more faith, they can they they can be tethered and they can gravitate more towards that. I guess so. Very. What about you, Trenchy? Do you think uh, do you think demon possession could be a thing? Do you think we can be possessed, or do you think it's just people that uh you know they haven't taken enough medication? Um. Uh. It'll go both ways. I think usually when the church is involved, it's usually just sick people. I do believe in entities and stuff like that, so I believe possession could happen. But I don't think the church is going to be able to solve it just by holding up or reading a book and, you know, showing a cross and stuff. I like the aesthetic, but... I don't think that's how that works. If you're dealing with an evil entity from another realm or whatever, I don't think any made up or, or not made up, but any uh, human mumbo jumbo will stop it. So you you think you think like Father Casey is here on the scene, and the demon is like, "Fuck you, Father Casey! What do you want to do?" <laughs> All of a sudden, Father Casey pulls out like his Mossenberg. He's like. Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> Boom! Boom! Uh, <laughs> I think that's cool, but it looks like, yeah, I don't think that's really realistic. If they're, I'm not saying possession really happens, but if it was to be happening, I don't think it can be solved like that. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be like Father, Father Casey goes in, the whole house is possessed! And you got tubular bells playing in the background. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, boys. He's like, what are you going to do? I'm going to make you holy. <laughs> yeah. Marty, the last exorcism. Have you seen that one? The last ex. I love yeah, that one. one. I enjoyed that one. I thought it was really good. Uh, I love that he didn't believe his own bullshit, but he thought it's still working because they believe it. I love that. Yeah. I love that perspective. Um, yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was good up until the last five minutes, and I was like, eh, eh. Mm. Good well, practice. Um, <laughs> I have a non-exploitation comedy to recommend. That's okay. really funny. That I think you might like. It's called The Little Hours. Uh, it's got Audrey Plaza, Alison Brie, and Kate Dickey in it, and uh, uh, James Franco's younger brother is in it. It's set in the, the 13th century, and this guy, this, Dave Franco, that's the, that's the actor. Dave Franco uh, uh, pisses off uh, uh, Ron Swanson, the actor who plays Ron Swanson. He fucks his wife, so he goes to hide in a, in a monastery, and uh, basically he pretends to be a mute. And uh, they, they, it's it's stupid, but it's not the 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 the, the tree nuns led by the tree of think because he's a mute, he can't do anything. So they they rape him on a wood pile, and he's like, oh okay. So <laughs> this happens. John C. Riley is in it as well, and uh, they 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 get they, 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 the the Monsignor visits and finds out what they're up to. And he starts listing off the things. Foul language, witchcraft, <laughs> eating blood, 
how the fuck do you eat? And this is the Monsignor. <laughs> how the fuck do you eat blood? If you haven't seen it, uh, check it out. It's called The Little Hours, and it's really funny. I will check it out. It sounds like fun. How the fuck do you eat blood? <laughs> Probably with a spoon. <laughs> oh, like soup? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, like soup. <laughs> yeah, like soup. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, that's uh, that, that, that's basically. I think we've covered all non exploitation movies. Is there any more that you think we've missed? Or I'd love for you to cover me and things. Oh, oh, oh! You mean movies, Marty? You mean movies? Yes, oh. movies, shit, <laughs> movies, shit. We have yet to watch Paul Verhoeven's thing, but movie. But considering it's the guy who made Showgirls, <laughs> and his 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 annoyance. It didn't get theatrically released, and his quote was, I can't believe Hollywood has so much problems with the female vagina. What's Yay! wrong with doing a vagina? So apparently there's a lot of vagina in it. Yes! Vagina! We're pro-vagina, except you can't, you except like movie vagina, but not real vagina except mine. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I, yeah, well, why why do you think Hollywood has a problem with vaginas? Vaginas are wonderful. Men love vaginas. Hi, John. Hey, John. Um, John, you're a man who loves uh, 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 Grindhouse movies. Have you any uh, non-exploitations you want to recommend? Um, I don't know. It's it's weird. You look at Japan as well. Japan, oh, Japanese yeah. pornos, uh, like they, 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 they fucking they... blur out to genitals. I don't yeah, know why. why do they, how do you jerk off if you can't see anything? I've always, like, I've stumbled on a few of those and it's like, it's fine. Sometimes the stories are, they do good stories. They like, like to go there. They like to go there with some of their porn. Like, yeah, they black out the tits and the box and the wang, but they give good stories or so I've heard. I wouldn't know. I don't watch that filth. I don't condone that filth. Yeah. And, and like, I, I've never, I've never read any hentai man. But I don't understand. <laughs> they, put, they put black strips over like badges and dicks and stuff. And the weird thing is, it's like across the dick. It's not covering encompassing the dick, so you can still see the dick. But it's just like, How, could you guys jerk off to that? Like American guy, like guys that aren't norm, that aren't used to this. Like, could you all jerk off if that was if it was the only port in the storm? Could you still jerk off? I suppose you could. Like, <laughs> not that I know. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Miss 45 is what John is recommending, which we've covered. So apparently you're not the only one that thinks that that's a non-exploitation either, because you were saying it kind of just squeezes through the door. Yeah, it, it does. It does. It does. Paxton. Um, no, 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 no. The, the, the tennis Brian, they cover up that stuff. Paxton. Is that an old, is that, John, is that the German silent movie, actually? Uh, yeah, that's from the 20s, I think. I've never yeah. seen it, but I know what it is. It's like a documentary on, like, witchcraft and Satan. It's beautifully shot, especially for the time period. It is beautifully shot. Mm. Uh, but, uh, I I am interested in seeing Verhoeven's Bern, Bernadetta. Me too, me too. Especially if you say there's a lot of vagina in it, Marty. Yay, vagina! Woo! That's that's what Verhoeven is saying. That's like uh, very well. cool. Well, he's always had trouble. Like I know with the Starship Trooper, Troopers movie, he like got on like he's like you Americans, and I think he got undressed to make his actors comfortable. I remember seeing a documentary about it. He's an interesting dude. He he's he's like uh, Robocop. When asked about Robocop, he didn't want to make an action movie. He wanted to make a movie about uh, an American Jesus. Yeah. A guy who comes back. And that's why Robocop walks in water yeah. in, in that movie. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 It's, it, 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 do, do you think that that kind of – do you think it – do you think like that kind of director, because he doesn't get a lot of respect in Hollywood. He has fans, but he doesn't get a lot of respect. Do you think if you add vaginas into your film, you automatically lose your credibility? I don't think so. I don't. Like fucking. I mentioned the other hell, John. Yay. He 
Canelo on their hell fan. Woohoo! Um, yeah, no, like, I, I, I think, I think that Hollywood is still kind of snobbish when it comes to sex. And um, like, for example, uh, 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 a movie like The Wolf of Wall Street, like Martin Scorsese can show fucking Martin Scorsese can show Margot Robbie in the buff. Thank you very much, Mar <laughs> Martin Scorsese. Um, and never mind. Moving on. Uh, Martin Scorsese, he's got he's got the clout. He's got the clout. You know. Thank you, Martin Scorsese. Um, for 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 like you know. What? 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 I'm, just, I'm thanking him for such a great movie. It was such a great turn by... by I don't by, think Margot uh, Robbie's all that either. I don't. I don't. Maya, just say you're thanking him for Taxi Driver, so we can move <laughs> yes, on. thank you. Thank you, Trent. Yes, I'm thinking about Taxi Driver. <laughs> I'm thinking about Taxi Driver. I drive her. Anyway, um, move, oh, move no! No! Yeah. What about you? Do you think do you think uh, Hollywood is still kind of snobby when it comes to things um, I, of sexual content? I do. I, I do think. I, I think. I don't know why we have such a fear of sex and things. I really don't because I mean everyone does it or everyone wants to be doing it. So why do we have a problem with it in our movies? And yeah, we have to. Like the argument is think of the children, but look at the children. We get you know we get them all fucked up over sex if we make it such a taboo and big deal. Like sure you don't want to come like them to come out of the womb and like well they literally do come out of the, we literally come from vaginas <laughs> you know what i mean we literally come from vaginas I'm like yeah sure we can't show our little ones things like that but i think if we make it taboo i think we really fuck up our kids you know yeah, like like there was a really sad case of a 15 year old uh czechoslovakian irish girl who was uh murdered and sexually assaulted by two young boys it's, it's a case that has made the state, they're the youngest boys in the state, uh, 12 and 13. Mm -hmm. They're the youngest kids in the state to be prosecuted. And their porno history was insane. Mm -hmm. It was fucking insane. Now, it, did, would that have happened if, if the parents had discussed it or there was better sexual kind of education? I don't know, but I certainly don't think it would have hurt to fucking sit your kids down and explain, look, what happens in these movies isn't natural. What happens is, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be fucking, definitely not a priest, despite the way I was dressed. Um, I, I think, I think an adult, a, a fully developed adult, can, 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 can compartmentalize that this is fantasy, that this, these kind of movies. If BDSM kind of uh, any kind of forced or, or kind of uh, a controlled play, that's all consensual. That's all staged. Mm -hmm. But to someone of a younger age, they might realize that. Not be able to. And they might think way. that that's a standard relationship dynamic. Mm -hmm. And Jesus Christ, our our, yeah. our 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 fucking sleazy fucking fun fucking thing just turned very serious. But no. I'm sorry. Um, no, 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 no. But but you get what I'm saying, Jen. I oh, agree yeah. with you 100. percent I, I, I think uh, I think you need to. Oh, sorry, Jen. Go for it. Uh, I was just gonna ask a question if I could. Sure. Why Why do you think like uh like uh brutal violence is more accepted to be shown to the youth than nudity? Because we're but very that's violent. Not the case. We're, I don't know if this is true. I don't know. Do you think? Do you? Because you're 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 that there foreigner, Marty. Um, do you think it's just us Yanks that like are super violent people, or do you think it's just ma a man um, nature, like it's in in man's nature? And when I say man, I don't mean just men. I'm talking about I'm talking about it's just human, human nature. race. Um, yeah. Or do you think? Or do you think we got their corner on that their violence? Do you think we're a violent people, Marty? I, I think the species are violent. Like, I mean, fucking Call of Duty didn't fucking sell 80 billion copies because 
it's such a beautifully crafted, fucking well executed and, and digitally astounding game. We, we, it, but, but it is, it is, there is kind of ingrained, and I'm not trying to be a dick and I'm like, ah, America, but your country definitely leads the charge when it comes to an acceptance of, of kind of. I don't know. I want to use the term violence because the, the I don't know if hunting would apply to that, but there's definitely kind of a niche where gun culture is normalized and action movies are normalized and the good like it's changing. It's definitely changed. It comes in leaps and bounds. But you go back to the eighties, Arnie always had the biggest gun, yes. and and like the bad guys were always like like blown away in spectacular fashion and like. Even going back further, even going back further, you John Wayne kind of like killing them engines. Mm -hmm. That's like, yeah, yeah, that's the way to do it. That's like, it, it's like, oh, you know, we can show, we can show a dude killing indigenous people, but we, God forbid, if we show a sex scene, like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this country literally is built. What did they hand out? God, Bible and gun, basically. I mean, that's kind of what we're built on is a Bible and a gun. Um, interesting dichotomy, if you think about it. Um, Trinchy, I, I don't know why. I think partly the humans are, I don't, some humans, uh, it is in our nature. There is that, there is that lizard part of our brain that like, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. You know, we all have it, yeah. you know. As much as we try to dress it up in fancy clothes and use up them bare big old words and stuff, and we civilized, but maybe we're not so civilized as we think we are, even though we've come in leaps and bounds. And um, I do think we are a wee bit violent, though, just a little bit. But oh, as far as why it's oh, I'm sorry. It was why it's acceptable. I don't know. For some reason, sex is 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 considered. Well, look at the, the oldest story in the book, Adam and Eve. I mean, you know, that's kind of like kind of where we're going to, and it's always us women that are although i could see if it was me and marty in the garden i'd be like hey marty look this talking snake said this apple's really yummy I know. <laughs> no no if that was us you, the snake would be like hey jen and you're like oh jesus christ and <laughs> just fucking dropping a rock in its head and i'm like yeah buddy <laughs> yeah that's true if it was me <laughs> I guess in the story they'd have to change it to something else. <laughs> Technically untrue, Brian. Cows. Cows are destroying the environment. But what? No shoes. No they're juice. flatulence. Yeah, there's a restriction on how many cows you can have because they're meat in production. Oh. Trenchy, what do you think? Why do you think? Uh, do, why do you think uh, it's okay to 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 show someone getting their head blown off, but not okay to show a boob? Why do you think? I I don't know. I do think that depending on the person, it can be uh, therapeutic to see violence or play violence video games. I think that you know. Like it could be a useful thing, but at the same time, it does seem weird that we're we're like we're okay with like showing people like ro like eight year olds RoboCop, but if they see a boob, it's the end of the world. It's really weird. Uh, RoboCop's a great movie, but it's just I don't like maybe not like sex sex, but I don't see a problem with like nudity because you know. It's, it's like it's just a body part. Like I don't... going going back going back to, 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 to I always tell people the story and, and it was a weird thing. My my v, v video shop renting memory days when I was younger, the rule my dad had and I can understand it to a certain extent. I don't know. Again, guys, there's eight people in the chat here. If you're watching this, let me know if you had this rule as well. So my dad would, would go, we'd go every Saturday night to pay his video or hurdy gurdies or wherever. And I could rent whatever I wanted, bar. I could rent Predator or like Predator 2 was a sheer fluke. But my dad was like, my dad would go up to the counter. I'd give him, can I rent this? My dad goes, hey, is there sex or is there, there boobs in this? And they're like, no, okay, rent away. Like Alien, Predator, um, uh, any kind of science fiction horror. No slashers because there was tits in that. I wasn't allowed to watch. But so 
as much gore as I like, but not much sex or nudity. Did do you understand the logic and that logic in that gen, or do you think that's very kind of weird and backward? Um, okay, see, so yeah, I, I grew up with a little bit different, um, but I had friends who kind of had the same rule your dad did, or at least the, the, the more liberal ones had that kind of rule. Some of them, it was like, you know, if it had any of that, they were like, no, um, if it wasn't G rated at, at the very least, um, my, uh, but I understand, I can kind of understand it, but I don't, but if I'm going to be honest, I don't because see my mother set me down. She, she's a, you know, her, she's a very liberal minded woman, you know, right. And she, she doesn't understand the big whoop with the body and stuff and she basically when i was eight or nine she kind of just sat me down and said sex you know under the under the right circumstances can be great ideally it's better to have it with somebody you love but sometimes adults do it and that's totally fine as long as it's consensual and stuff and she's like it's going to be depicted in these movies and she's like there's nothing wrong with it but you just got to be smart about it but she didn't make it a big thing so she never freaked out if i saw sex she just explained it to me and said, you know, ideally it's better to do it with the, with the person you're in love with, but it's okay for fun. Some people just do it for fun and that's okay too. Um, but when you do it, you know, be smart about it. You don't want to get a baby or a disease. And she just was very matter of fact about it. And so it wasn't a big deal. Do you sad. think, do you think like not all, like, do you think it's a case that not all, all young boys have access to a penis, but not all of them have access to a gun. Do you think that's <laughs> kind of the logic there? Like, you know, I, most people around here do have that, or at least the kids I grew up with, most of them did, and they didn't necessarily believe in locking them either. You know, and, 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 and I don't know why people do, but but when you talk about sex, people get very uncomfortable. I was, of course, you could say, look at me, I'm a pervert. I joke about sex all the time, so maybe my mother didn't do it right. I don't know. I mean. You you could use me as a case. I think you have done a fantastic job. <laughs> you're you're amazing. You're awesome. You're an awesome mother. You're an awesome person. Anyone says otherwise, I'll put their head through a fucking window. Um, but you know, I do take it kind of far, and I guess you could make you could play the Desmond's advocate and say, okay, you know, she was too liberal with her daughter and stuff like that. I feel lucky though; like it wasn't a big. So she didn't make it a big deal. She just said, "I hope when you do decide to have sex, it's with someone you love do, and to be smart about it." Do you think my dad was backward in his way of like letting me rent movies, or because you, like, or do you think it depend as a parent it was his choice to do that, or? It's, it's, it's a, you can never tell anybody how to parent their kid. You know, you can give, sometimes you look at some, I know I looked at some parents and thought, thank God they're not my parents, but you know, you can't ever tell someone, you know, you know, your kid better than other, I, you know, that's not something I was used to. Like if we had a kid, I, you know, probably somewhere in the middle, but I, I think you'd be pretty liberal minded too. If we had a kid, wouldn't like, if we had a kid, what would your rule I, be? I, I, maybe it is the Catholic guilt coming into me, but I think I would, <laughs> I would probably employ the the the, the, the same no logic, room. yeah. Until like we sat him down because I don't want the prospect of if we had a kid someday that they go off and they they become sexually aggressive mm -hmm. with with a younger girl, and it's because we didn't take the time to sit down and discuss or explain to a quote quote of quote, the birds and the bees or the dynamic or how a relationship, a loving relationship is formed sexually or otherwise. I just I I would prefer that that they would they would be able to define and understand uh, that like what happens on the celluloid is very different from what happens in real life. That's true. But, you know, you can sit down and have a talk, and I think that's great. But I also think kids just learn what to observe. And, like, I think with you, you just how you would treat me and other women, you know, you, you pick up a lot from where you learn. Like, I had pretty, you know, you know my history with men and stuff, and I didn't have the greatest father, so I didn't know any better that this is how you're supposed to. You, 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 you accept what you know sometimes, you know mm. what I mean? And I think that that would be that, you know, your, your, your father sounded like he was a pretty good guys so you probably had a pretty good example like of knowing you know you can you can talk to your kids but what their actions speak louder than words sometimes so well, I think the, the, the flip side to that is um, any kind of stuff that I grew up and learned about 
was mainly from my brother or finding my brother's magazines, which <laughs> was was later on. Was later on. It was like, yeah, it's just like oh, my brother's like, look, do this, don't do this, certainly don't do this, <laughs> and yeah, if it smells weird, go away from it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good rule of thumb. <laughs> What about just you? Like Han, just like Han Solo. Just like Han Solo to, to Chewbacca and Trenchy. I don't care what you smell. Just get in there. <laughs> Trenchy, did you have someone? Did you have rules? Did did your parents say, you know, you can't watch this? Or or were they a little more liberal? Or what, um, what? I live with a few different people. Like, my mom at first, it was weird because she would let us watch, like, horror movies and stuff, but she didn't want us watching wrestling, which she gave up on that after a while, but I guess that makes sense because then we tried to do the wrestling and it led the bad thing, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah. But then I lived with another person um, who just let us watch whatever we wanted, pretty much, unless if he thought it was too far but I always remember one that was really weird. He he didn't want us watching Watchmen for some. The reason was really weird, and it was just I don't know. It was. Wait, 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 was it because of the blue dick? No, it wasn't. It it's because in the beginning of the movie there were lesbians, and I guess he didn't want us learning. He was fine with it later when we were older, but I guess he didn't want us learning about that as a kid. I don't know. He was weird. Okay. <laughs> I get that. Okay. I, but you have to like, like again. That's where my mom's like, they're, they're, you know, if it not. It, she basically said, you know, not everyone like, you know, likes like women don't always like men, and and men don't always like women. And she's nah. like, there's nothing wrong with that. And I think it, the lot, the the earlier you give that message of acceptance, and it's not weird to kids, and you know, pre prejudices don't start like don't well, start. Good English, Jen. Good English. I'm so hard. I so talk so pretty, don't I, darling? <laughs> you have the prettiest mouth. I yeah. have the prettiest words to come out of that mouth. <laughs> But you know what I mean? I think you, I think, uh, you know, because I've seen a lot of, uh, especially big Bible thumpers that, you know, they're all about loving Jesus. But if you don't check a certain box with your sexuality, then you're going to hell and God hates you, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Yeah. That, like, that person wasn't necessarily bad. They were just kind of toxic at times. That, yeah. I, I'm, 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 I'm. I I think we 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 know a couple of those people as well, so don't 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 worry about. No. It. There's 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 one in particular I fucking adore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll kill her, Marty. <laughs> oh no 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 no! I was I was speaking in hyperbole. <laughs> I was like yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah no. You know. Um, I, I think I've, I think we've covered everything. We've gone from like a very kind of uh, 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 silly, well, not silly, a very kind of fucking lighthearted, <laughs> lighthearted conversation to something that's actually fairly loaded. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. If, if, if loaded. I'm... Ooh, I get an image when you say loaded. Say it again, Marty. Say it again. <laughs> Trenchy, help me here. Throw rocks at you. Come on. Well, Jen's not a child, so it wouldn't be fun. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so, yeah, no, I, I think we'll finish it up here, unless there's anything else anyone else wants to add. Uh, hey, Dino. How you doing, man? <laughs> you um, said I did it, too. What? You said finish it up, and my mouth just went open. I was, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Wait, 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 let me do this. <laughs> Trenchy, shut your eyes for a minute. <laughs> okay. Okay, just <laughs> Should I plug my ears too? <laughs> if you want, if you I, I it's really not a it's not so much a sound thing. It was this one was more of a vigil. It's okay now. It's oh god. <laughs> right. So 
So we're going to finish up here. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Um, myself and Jane, sometime in the near future, will be reviewing Stroke Come On. Yay! So if you want to check that out. We'll also try and get, we have a couple of movies in the back uh, backlog to review. Uh, you Are Not My Mother. And, um, oh my God. <laughs> Um, you're not my mother, uh, Bernadetta. We want to review that. Lesbian um, men's people. Uh, John, I'm going to finish up, but I might open up the back room if you want. Uh, if, if you want, uh, I'll, I'll see what's going on. My back room? I'm sorry, Maria. I'm getting all excited. I think it's the nun outfit. It's, it's bringing out the deviant in me. <laughs> Give me a bad habit. Give me a bad habit. <laughs> Sorry, Trenchy. Right. Sorry, Trenchy. I'm not trying to trying to, to scar you. I'm sorry, Trenchy. Uh, you, you got uh, <laughs> I don't think I can be scarred at this point. <laughs> You're a sweet so, kid. <laughs> so, yeah, I probably have some figure reviews coming up. Um, if you get a chance, check out my latest review of the awesome Battle Armor Skeletor. That this <clears throat> this sexy lady sent me all the way from the United States. She also sent me some mac and cheese. She was mac and cheese. It was nice going in. But it was hard coming out. That's all I'm fucking say. It should um, be the other way. It should be the other way, Marty. Hard right, going um, in and nice coming out. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, no, no. I uh, check out my review of that Larmer Skeletor. Uh, just fantastic lady got me it, so check that out. And I have some other figures on the way. Uh, Jen, when are you and the Spark, Sister Jen, when are you with the Spark uh, going to be doing another video? Actually, we should. Christian is editing. In fact, he finished it and he said it's going to be going up in the morning sometime. We will be doing, and oh, guys, guys, I'm Trenchy knows about this because I talked about it in the stream, but I found a gem for 1983. Oh, my God. Like, oh, I fucking, it, it's about a, a, a grocery delivery guy, right? And he, like, and a mother, a wicked mother. Not oh, like there it's again. <laughs> No a mother, a mother who wants to send her daughter to boarding school and she makes the grocery delivery men get rid of her snake, her pet snake. And like the daughter is jealous of the mother because she takes all the attention from her doctor father. And like the guy wants to rape her and he's raping and she's getting a gun and she's really proficient with guns because she's see another son with her and her dad shooting ducks, right? So she knows what she's doing with guns. And she's like at the stairs and she's like shoot, gonna shoot the dude, right? And then like a light bulb goes over her head and she's like if this bastard kills this bitch then I get daddy to myself and then we go in the second act and it gets really weird from there it's fucking awesome hear about it in my and me and Sparky's next video of our best picks of 1983 you won't be sorry and then I have another movie about incest on my list as well I have two movies about incest go Jen <laughs> Just in case anyone was wondering, Jen Mitchell is actually not a real nun. You may not realize that. Um, Bless you all. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Namas namaste. <laughs> no, and Jen starts saying haikus instead of hymns. Uh, Trench. Poor lad, considering yeah. we ambushed you into this. Is there anything you want to promote or, or plug or anything you think people should check out? Oh, uh, I got nothing on my channel. I'm going to be on Ethel's tomorrow, but that's about it. I don't Oh, know yes, our, our awesome friend and, 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 and collaborator, Ethel, on 13 Originals, uh, is doing a stream all about the tick, uh, both the animated show and the two live action series and the comic, I think. Uh, I don't think I'll be there. I'll see what the story is. I'll see what time it's on at. But regardless, if I'm not there, this sexy lady's going to be there, and this 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 fine gentleman is going to be there. So definitely check that out on Thirteen Originals channel. All about the take. Look, Marty, I think I've.
corrupted Brian. He's wooing incest. I think my corrupt. I think I'm corrupting our whole group of friends. The power of, of, of the power of incest compels you. <laughs> And with that, I'm going to leave the stream. Um, remember, guys, if if you're ever in a church and you encounter a nun like Jen, get the fuck out of there. Convert. Convert. Be a Buddhist. Be Jewish. Fuck it. Fucking join the Taliban. <laughs> Whatever well, it well. takes. Get out of there. <laughs> right, and with that, Don't I'm worry yourself here. Up. <laughs> but, uh, big thanks to my gorgeous lady Jane. This is very short notice, but we had some great fun doing it. A big thanks to her hostage slash guest, uh, Trenchy, for coming in. Uh, Trenchy, did you have fun with this, or were you just totally traumatized the whole time? Uh, I came in not prepared. It was enjoyable, though. I didn't know I was a hostage, though. You should have told me. <laughs> you're, 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 you're a hostage, you love. You're our yeah. love child. Our love child. Oh, That's... Jesus. <laughs> exactly. That's what I was saying when we were making you. Oh, no. Trench, Trench, who are you more, oh, Jesus, about? The fact I'd be your dad or Jenna be your mom. Oh, that's an easy one. Well, I'll, I'll play the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> right, and with that, with Trenchy pleading the fifth, um, um, we're, we're gonna we're gonna make a gamber herd and drop right out of here. So, uh, yeah, Not have a good day. Shlonwalia. Uh -huh. Good night.